A few years ago, I read this book, Sapiens. Uh, the subtitle is A Brief History of Humankind. And I found it to be a very, very impactful book. Really made me think, changed my thinking about a lot of things. And it's, uh, you know, it's written on a really big scale. The first sentence is about 13.5 billion years ago, matter, energy, time and space came into being in what is known as the Big Bang. So that's where it starts. But I want to read this paragraph on this very first page. And by the way, the, the, um, the title of this chapter is An Animal of No Significance. So the fourth paragraph, first page, about 70,000 years ago, organisms be belonging to the species Homo sapiens started to form even more elaborate cultures or even more elaborate structures called cultures. The subsequent development of these human cultures is called history. It, it goes on to talk about this cognitive evolution and that's where we as humans, as Homo sapiens, started to have this ability to communicate at a, at, a, at a much more significant level. And that allowed us to create these cultures, these, um, these communities, these tribes, these bands, you, whatever word you want to use, but it allowed us to create more elaborate structures. It allowed us to develop fiction, the ability to tell stories, and that ability allowed us to, to just organize better. And all of a sudden, we went from being an insignificant animal to an animal that, is, um, that, that, that just dominates the earth. It just completely dominates the earth. Back then, there were many animals that were stronger, faster, uh, more fierce, had, had built-in natural weapons, teeth and claws that we didn't have. And yet, we were able to gain dominion over them because we could, we, could, uh, we could gather together and we could create systems together. There were other Homo, there's a Homo Neanderthals and a few other species around at that time that didn't go through that cog cognitive revolution and didn't, uh, didn't develop those, the, those capabilities that we had and didn't dominate that like, like we did. And so that was 70,000 years ago. I think something, I think something innate in us, they either maybe it caused the cognitive revolution or it was because of it, was this thing that I call the fear of the other. In other words, if, if we create our band, this is us, this is who we are, that what separates us from this other band of, of, of humans, of homo sapiens? What separates us? What makes us us and them them? And we've got really good at drawing those lines and figuring out the differences. And then we often don't have conflict around those things because we feared those other bands. You can see where I'm going with this. So that brings us up to where we're at right now. And in this country I live in, the United States, for the last very, well, it's been a long time, but specifically in the last week or two weeks, we've seen this divide just blow up in a, in, a, in a terrifying, horrible, sad way. It started with the death of George Floyd, which uh, was a horrifying nine-minute video to watch, to see him slowly strangled to death. It was just something I'll never forget. And, and now then we, that led to all these protests, a small percentage of, the, of those protesters, or, or let's just say they're protests, rioting, looting, but it's all just a reflection of, of this great unrest from this, the great injustice that we've had going on in this country for so long towards, towards black people and people of color. And um, it's just, you know, just incredibly sad. In fact, I'll tell you what, you know, just talk about, I, I, I imagine there will be people watching this video that when I even mention a title, you know, we, we're so polarized that I mentioned this title, An Animal of No Significance. Right there, I'm sure that triggered some folks. And so this is one of those deals where, you know, it, I started publishing seven years ago. I started publishing every week. 
and um, I didn't see it leading me to this moment of, of speaking about this. And I really don't, I don't know what to say. I don't, I've got opinions, but I don't know that they count. And, and I, right now I'm more interested in listening and learning. I think um, that's, that's the highest service I can do right now is, is listening and learning. And, you know, if I look back, it's been like something like 350 of these videos I've done. And I decided this week, I just want to try to stay in my lane as much as possible. And that lane has been coaching my followers who are entrepreneurs, like how to take care of themselves, really. You know, I teach marketing, I teach business building, but generally each week when I do this video for you, it, it's usually about taking care of yourself, taking care of what's going on in your head, taking care of your heart. And this is this is a time that is hard because there is so much pain. There is so much sadness happening right now in the world. There's so much crazy news. I'm usually so good at isolating myself from the news because I think at, at the end of the day, the news is, you know, it's driven by, well, it's just, it's, just, it's, it's a content model. They're driven to get more eyeballs to sell more ads so they're going to be as sensationalistic as possible. So in general, they're, what's good for them is sensationalism is not good for me and, and my psyche and, and, and my emotions and my intellect. So I generally avoid the news. But right now it's, it's pretty darn hard and maybe you're feeling the same way. So um, this, is, this is just the time to, to show as much compassion for yourself but for others as well. And that's, at the end of the day, that's the only thing that's gonna bring us through this is compassion and connection and love and understanding and understanding that, there, that no one has a monopoly on the truth. No one is 100% right and no one's 100% wrong either. Tolerance, compassion, love, connection. And if you have if you have a following, if you're sort of in this world of, uh, of talking to other people and you've got a platform, then those things, uh, you need to speak to the moment to some, to some extent. But I, it, it, focusing on compassion and connection and understanding and learning and listening and love and humility and maybe even a little grace, I think those are good places to be right now. So normally, um, I end this video with saying, let's go get them this week. I don't know, that feels a little, <laughs> just doesn't feel right to me right now. So um, let's just say, uh, just try to listen, try to learn, try to love.